Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Alex and I'm really happy to have you all with me today. Thank you to everyone who recently subscribed. We are now more than 200 people on the channel, which seems quite unbelievable to me, but uh, thank you. Thank you for um, commenting, liking, and um, I hope you, you will enjoy this video as well. Today we are comparing uh, the best of 2019 with the Pegasus Turbo 2, the best of 2020 with the Endorphin Speed and the Brooks Hyperion Tempo, and so far the best of 2021 with the Hoka Mac 4. A very exciting comparison. I will go right now out for a run and I will take all the four pairs with me. I will change them along the way. So I will run a few kilometers with one and then change to another one. So um, I hope this, this will be helpful for you. I know all the four pairs are very popular and this comparison is also meant to help you because all of them are still available for, for purchasing. So maybe the Turbo 2 is a bit difficult to get these days, at least in, in all sizes. And um, maybe having um, a very short but uh, uh, helpful comparison between them can help you to um, decide which one to get and which one to train in in 2021. Also note that I chose these shoes based on a sort of uh, category in which um, we have daily trainers, but they are very versatile and very uh, capable of uh, going to different paces. And that could be potentially um, the one single shoe that people may have for their training in 2021. I did not include the Invincible because it's not versatile enough and there are no carbon fiber plated shoes because that's more for you know up-tempo interval uh, training or racing and uh, these shoes would not fit according to me in this specific category. All right guys, let's go outside now. I will take all the four pairs with me and I will see you in a bit out during my run and um, I will try to get some nice footage while running with each of these shoes. See you outside. Just a few quick thoughts about the Turbo 2. I haven't run in them since, uh, I believe, July 2020, so it's been a while now. And uh, the shoe still feels amazing. The fit is uh, snugger than uh, I remember, but, um, and the lockdown isn't perfect in the heel area, but that was always the case. Other than that, the, the shoe is really, uh, quite peppy, quite responsive. You can feel the Zoom X, but the React adds some uh, some firmness to it. It's it's, it's really nice. Uh, really looking forward to putting the Hyperion Tempos on right after that and seeing how how they feel compared to the Turbos. But uh, yeah, uh, really cool throwback to, with the Turbos. Alright, uh, so just finished uh, the 2Ks with the Turbo 2s and now switching to the Hyperion Tempos. Still, um, same thing here, really looking forward to uh, that throwback. Haven't run in the Hyperion Tempos since mid-December. So, um, and it's, it's actually one of my favorite pairs in uh, 2020. So, let's see how it goes. running with the Hyperion Tempos. The fit is actually a bit more roomy than uh, with the Turbo 2s. The lockdown is similar, maybe a, a tad better, but nothing astounding either. The shoe is responsive, but less than the Turbo 2s. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, it's maybe a little more forgiving 
and it has a bit more stack height in the forefoot which gives it that uh, uh, a bit more cushioned ride than the Turbo 2s but also less responsive on the other hand so yeah uh, headed back to the car now to switch to the endorphin speeds see you there So, uh, back at the car, I took off the Hyperion Tempos and now I have the Saucony Endorphin Speeds on my feet. Um, yeah, uh, this one is a bit tricky because I uh, really enjoyed it in 2020, but it has an island plate in it, uh, which the two others and the Mac 4 coming right after do not have. So, um, yeah, we'll see. I mean, I expect this shoe to be a bit more, you know, zesty and... Um, uh, have that little pop um, compared to the others. I know it, it has it, but uh, I just want to see how it compares um, right off the bat coming off the others and, and taking those uh, on. So uh, let's see, let's go and, uh, and, uh, and we'll see. See ya. Nothing shoe related now, but just wanna, wanted to show you how nice it looks with the sunset. Look at this. Really looking great. So what about the Saucony Endorphin Speeds compared to the two others? Uh, it's the most narrow fit and narrow platform, so a bit less of stability compared to the two others. But it's also the most uh, peppy and nimble out of the three. So yeah, uh, that's something you may want to take into account. Sorry, I'm talking a bit funny, but it's colder than I expected, so my lips are a bit frozen. And um, and yeah, still the, the speeds feel good at easy paces, and when picking up the pace, which I do here during the comparison test to see how the shoe uh, how the shoes uh, react. So yeah, very interesting. So far, you know, the speeds have a little advantage because train passing by. That was the train. Sorry for the noise. Yeah, I was I was saying that the the speeds have a little advantage because of the extra uh, versatility and uh, that ability to switch paces very nicely. The Turbo Twos also have that. Uh, with a bit more uh, bounciness, not responsiveness, but bounciness for the turbos. Responsiveness is more for the speeds. And then the tempos, very good all rounder, but I would say that I was a bit disappointed today running with them compared to the two others, quite interestingly. And uh, yeah, let's see, going back to the car now, switching to the Mac 4s. Let's see how it goes. Back at the car, last switch of shoes, and uh, that's good because I'm a bit tired of switching shoes every uh, two kilometers. Uh, going from the speeds to the Mac 4, and uh, the sun has uh, almost set, so we have to uh, hurry because otherwise the, the footage won't have enough light to it. Here we go.
almost done with the final segment of the test with the Mac 4s. Uh, so how to compare the Mac 4s to the others? It has the roomiest tow box, uh, probably the best mid-foot lockdown on par with the endorphin speeds. It feels the most clunky out of the uh, four pairs but I think it's also the heaviest and uh, also feels the most stable and has the most uh, rocker type of ride uh, or at least the, the more pronounced the most pronounced rocker type of ride I would say uh, yeah, the cushion is good. Heel lockdown is on par with the Turbo 2, which went distant but not very good. And uh, yeah, that's it. See you back in the paint cave. All right, back from the run. It was uh, it was great. Great to test all the four pairs in one single run. Very helpful to have a better idea of uh, which works uh, best at um, which pace and how they, they really compare. I hope um, all the info I shared with you during the run was uh, helpful and will help you um, decide which shoe to, to get in 2021. If you enjoyed this video, do not hesitate and hit that subscribe button. Join the, the you know little community that we're building here on, on this channel and that's, uh, that's fantastic. Or simply uh, like the video, or should I say and like the video, you can do both. Um, and don't hesitate to drop a comment, ask a question. I'm more than happy to answer if I can, if I know the answer. Sometimes I do not and I simply uh, say that I don't have the answer. It happens. Um, all right. Thank you very much for tuning in, uh, watching the video. And I hope to see you uh, very soon in the next one. Take care.